Hey, Architect Nation, Enix Sears here, and in today's Architects EO update, you'll discover how to win more of the kind of projects that you want to be working on. So where I live in Visalia, California, this is known as the breadbasket of America. We literally have agriculture all over the place. So I know a lot of times you hear about California, you think of Los Angeles, you think of San Francisco, but what most people don't realize is that the majority of landmass in California is taken up by what's called the Great Central Valley. Now this Great Central Valley is basically a huge flat plain of very fertile soil and we get lots of snow melt from the mountains that the farmers use to be able to grow all sorts of fruits and nuts which is why of course they say that all the fruits and nuts are in California. Now if you're listening to this you can't see but I'm holding in my hand right now a nectarine. This is one of the fruits that they grow around here and as I was driving around looking out at the different orchards, looking at the farmers doing their work, watching them harvest the peaches, the nectarines, the plums, I started to think about one of the primary challenges that a lot of small firm architects face, and that is winning the kind of projects that they want consistently. And so what I'd have you consider in today's Architect CEO update is the difference between farming and hunting. Now, in a very literal sense, farming, of course, you have a field, you go out there, you put some seeds in the ground, you water, and over time it produces fruit. This is the typical way that most architecture firms get projects because it's the easiest way. Just go out there, do what you do best, deliver good projects, and over time, word of mouth will happen. Those trees will grow up nice and strong, and they'll deliver you fruit. However, there becomes a problem. Sometimes this always doesn't work. Maybe perhaps you're a startup firm. Maybe you don't have that huge pipeline. Maybe you left another firm and you don't want to have to steal all of their clients and projects, even if you could. Perhaps you, you're an established firm, but you'd like to break into a new market sector. There's a lot of reasons why just waiting for the fruit that you've already planted to grow might not be a viable strategy for you. For instance, one of the downsides of just depending on farming, the farming approach, which is doing good work, maintaining the relationships with existing clients and waiting for that fruit to come to you is that if you want to break out into a new market sector, if you want to get better kind of projects, it's not going to happen through that passive approach. The only way you're going to be able to get a different kind of project is by doing something different. And this is where we come to the idea of hunting. Hunting is important in your firm to be able to bring in the new leads. And yes, here we're talking about things like developing a sales and business development program in your architecture firm, meaning you have a systematic way to reach out to new contacts, whether it's cold contacts, whether it's using things like LinkedIn and social media, but actually doing direct outreach to form relationships, to tell them about your value proposition, and to be able to enter into a conversation about getting on the roster for a potential project. Now, here's the difficult part for a lot of architects who are introverts, who would rather be doing architecture than out there beating the bushes and selling, this is a very difficult proposition. Fortunately, there are a lot of ways and strategies that can make it easier for you to be able to get out there and develop a business development program for your firm. However, here's the key. To have a really sustainable firm, if you have any sort of ambition, you want to get beyond the project you're doing now, maybe improve your cash flow, you need to have a business development process. And so perhaps if you're like most architects and you have a lot of call reluctance or you're nervous, you're scared, you're not, wor you're not exactly sure how to reach out to new people and to really accelerate your network rapidly, well, I have a solution for you. It's something that I teach in my Dream Practice Accelerator. Now in this program, I help architects who are probably not unlike yourself, who run small architecture firms, anywhere from sole practitioners to people that have firms of about 20, and I help them become the kind of person who can set up the system and process in their firm to be able to win the kind of projects that they want. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, so you don't have to depend on just the harvest, because let's face it, even here in California, we get droughts and we get famines. And what happens during that time, it's very, very tough for the farmers because the revenue drops, the trees and the plants aren't producing the crops that they need, and they put themselves in a very, very difficult position. So if you'd like to give yourself some diversity, if you'd like to have more than just one way of bringing clients into your firm, I invite you to reach out to me. Say, hey, Enoch, I'm interested in knowing more about how to add a hunting program to my architecture firm. Another place you can go is if you go to uh, dreampracticewebinar.com. There's a special 60-minute training there where you can kind of get a sneak peek at the way that I work how I work with firms, and the strategies that I teach. As always, this is your Architect CEO daily update. This is Enix here signing off for now. Carpe diem. Remember, seize today because we never know when it could be our last. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.